Hi, welcome again. We know the church by its very nature is missionary. Although the obligation of spreading the gospel lies on each baptized person, still the Lord chooses certain people to go far and wide to spread the gospel. Jesus said, go and make the disciples of all the nations. And one of these privileged missionaries was St. Francis Xavier. He is the first of a long line of Jesuit missionaries who uh, opened up the uh, Far East to the spread of Christianity. He would later preach the gospel in India, Malaysia and Japan. Francis first met St. Ignatius of Loyola at the University of Paris, won over by his enthusiasm and he was among the first seven who took vows in the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits that Ignatius had founded. That was in 1534. Three years later, he, Ignatius and four others were ordained priests in Venice, and then they uh, went to Rome to offer their services to the Pope. In 1541, uh, Francis set out for the East Indies, arriving in Goa in April of that year. He preached first to the Portuguese there, and then moved on to South India, later to Malaysia and to Japan. Always, as his letters to Ignatius indicate, he went about with great enthusiasm and joy. The success of Francis Xavier is legendary, but he had one great regret that there were not more missionaries to preach the gospel to the people who were very enthusiastic in hearing about Jesus and the way of life uh, that was put before them by the teachings and example of Jesus. He would say, I have visited all these villages and the people there are already Christian from previous missionaries, but yet they lack um, a mass, they lack the sacraments, they lack instruction because of lack of priests and other missionaries. Then, Francis set his sights on China. And so after a long journey, he almost arrived there, but he was sickly and he died alone on the island of Shanxian. Later, of course, he would be canonized as one of the great missionaries of the church, following the example of Christ and the early apostles. May God bless you and keep you, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.